Yes, yeah, so welcome back to Martha Table. We just left from the National Press Building, speaking with author Jesse J. Holland. And welcome back to Martha Table, where we just left from the Rayburn Building, speaking with the Executive Director of Free DC, Anise Jenkins. Now we're going to transition and take you to the other side of town, uptown, to the Airedale, where you're going to connect with electric violinist, the Andalusian. Now, the Andalusian is a woman who is a master at playing the electric violin. And she's going to share with you the mechanics and different equipment used to make great music. As the Andalusian also represents women in the industry, female engineers. Is it about male or female? It's not about male or female. If that woman is great behind the ones and twos, that woman is the greatest. So the Andalusian represents four female musicians. She represents four musicians, period. And she believes that more women should be in the music industry. She believes that more women should be highlighted and exalted in the music industry. And the Andalusian also believes in immigrational rights and using art and the involvement with the community to inspire equal rights for immigrants and to inspire equal rights for women worldwide. Then we're also going to go back to the Rayburn building. And I'm going to give you another exclusive meeting with Eleanor Holmes Norton and the founder of the Veterans for Statehood, Hector Rodriguez. Now, Hector Rodriguez is the founder of Veterans for Statehood. And he had an exclusive meeting with Eleanor Holmes Norton and DC Vote to discuss organizing different events to get more veterans involved with statehood, inspiring equal rights for Washington, D.C. So let's go to the Airedale and hear from electric violinists, the Andalusian, and let's go back to the Rayburn building to hear from the founder of Veterans for Statehood, Hector Rodriguez. Electronic violin is taking violin soundscapes, sampling them, making them into listenable tracks, playing over those sampled soundscapes, um, and then just incorporate a lot of beat making and, and controllerism into a live track. There's many different capacities of being a violinist. There's um, Yes, there are violinists. I've noticed that there are a lot of violinists who spend their time doing covers of very popular songs, very beautiful songs. Um, and it, it's great because people get to appreciate the classical training uh, while listening to Ariana Grande or Kendrick Lamar. So you have a lot of violinists who are embracing this sort of 
you know, cover aspect. They do lots of covers. Um, I, I more like I use I use my violin more to explore music technology and um, all the industry that goes into that. So well, I work with a lot of I work closely with a lot of um, manufacturers. They make pedals. They make uh, synthesizers. They make sound processing devices and plugins. Um, so I'm working a lot with these brands to see like where the violin sound can go. There's many different capacities. 